Hello, my name is Dara and I am a technical support engineer here at Simply Nook and today I'm going to show you how to install an I.O. expansion lid. Before we begin, we'd like to have a few tools on hand. A screwdriver so we can unscrew the base plate of the unit. You want to have a pry tool or a fingernail that you can pry the lid off and you want to have your ESD equipment so that you will not cause any electrostatic discharge. So now I'll begin. We'll get this screwdriver, which I will use here, to pry off the lid. As you see, there are two holes, which you can use to get your pry tool under. We'll put the screwdriver in, gently wedge it up, and pry that off. That comes off very easily now. Next, we want to flip the unit over. We want to unscrew the four screws on the bottom, loosen the four screws in each corner. I've done that already. And you'll just leave the base plate on for the moment. You flip over the unit. This will keep the motherboard still inside. You take your lid and you take your cable and you snake it through. You snake it through this hole. It'll be on the front left as you're looking at the front. Place that through. And make sure you get it past the motherboard on the inside. So just push it through a little bit more. And now we can place the lid on. So you place the lid on front to back as I would find easiest. You line it up with the clip holes and then you just push it along until you get to the back and it all clips on perfectly. So now we have the lid on nice and neat. So we flip the unit over and now we can take off the base plate. So just lift it off carefully. You can see the cable has come through there, but be careful of this SATA SSD cable. Just make sure that doesn't come unclipped. So now you can see the inside of the board here and our cable on this specific build we have a translation cable that'll widen the pin out so we can attach it to this board. On this board, we have different headers here. In this case, we apply it to this header. This is our USB 2.0 header. So I'll carefully place it down very nicely as such so that we have the black cable facing this direction and the red cable facing the other direction. We'll tuck our cable down. We may have an SSD go in here that'll help keep it down. And now we can place our base plate back on and screw down the four corners. And there we have it. Our base plate's on. Our lid's on, and we have our nook ready. Thank you very much.